that's what it takes to grow your superpower, you know, <laughs> paying attention to how things work. Most of us know that when kryptonite came around Superman, he lost his powers. So I have paid attention to when things show up where all of a sudden I find I'm not a being of love, where I'm finding I'm disturbed, I'm upset, I am perturbed and disturbed. I have to look around and say, where the heck is that kryptonite? What, stop, what is stopping me from being a being of love? Because I am obviously giving that power away to something in my env environment that I am saying is more important than the, the, the powerful universe moving through me into the world. The, the spirit of love that I am designed to not only be, but to reveal and to share and to invite. So paying attention to where the kryptonite is, paying attention to the things that say, um, let the weeds come in so that the tomatoes don't grow, so that the things that are designed to have life and bring forth fruit, what is the fruit of my, um, my living? Am I paying attention to that? And it is important as a conscious being that has a mind turned over and in service to love to pay attention to when it's not working as it should. Just like when a patient comes in, I look for where the interference is. I need to look for where the interference is to the channel of love that naturally moves through me. And I need to water that quality, just like the rain is watering all the things I put in the ground yesterday. So what is the fertilizer we use to grow our superpower? It is the, the de decision to love one another, to care more about the atmosphere in, that we're generating than about the distractions, 